Well, this is uh, block number three. Sun's shining, sky's blue. The air's good, it's in Newcastle. And uh, I was asked a question yesterday after last, last block. And this lad said there was, when I came out of prison in 2016, uh, I was wounded, we'll be lost. downloaded it to you three times I said so Psalm 1 for you is a life scripture we need life scriptures because life scriptures have the life of God in them and they will go through with us throughout our lives in any situation as I said before so I says to him I says the life scripture Psalm 1 that you've been given is very similar to the one I've been talking about on the last couple of blogs which is Joshua 1 verse 8 do not let my word depart from your mouth Meditate on it day and night. Do what it says and you will be prosperous and successful in everything you do. So Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, who does not stand in the way of sinners, who does not sit in the seat of mockers. But, and this is where it connects up with Joshua 1 yet, his delight is in the word of the Lord. And upon his word he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water. His leaf does not wither and he yields fruit in season and everything he does shall prosper or in some versions say is increase and break out. So God gave Joshua and God gave David, both warrior king leaders, the same information. Meditate on my word day and night. It is absolutely essential that this revelation goes off in the people of God. That if we do not meditate on his word, then we are meditating on something else's word. If we are not focused on his word, we are focused on some other word. And the God of this world, the prince of the power of the air, does not want us focusing, meditating, thinking about, declaring or imagining the word of God. Because in that word of God, in those life scriptures, in those uh, Rhema statements is the resurrection power of Almighty God. Now I've done three blogs up to now, this is the third one, and I would suggest you don't listen to them and then forget them. You, the Word of God says faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. They need to be continually listened to. You've got to neutralize the negativity that the Prince of the Power of the Air is bombarding your mind and your soul with. Because in the name of Jesus, we have been given the Holy Spirit who raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And if we are living below the snake line, the snake line is this. In some countries where they have poisonous snakes, they live at a certain level. But the higher you go, the less the snakes go. Because it's too cold for them. So my statement is this. Keep your mind above the snake line. Do not let the poisonous news and negativity of the enemy pull your mind down into his realm. You stay above the lies of the enemy. You stay above the deceptions of the prince of the power of the air. You stay above the lies of the God of this world because Jesus defeated him at the cross. When Jesus said in Matthew 28, all power has been given to me, he meant all power. He didn't mean 50%. 99.9% .9 he meant all power so if all power has been given to Jesus how much has that snake got he's got nothing but what he has got is he, he gets us to believe what he says he tries to do with us what he did exactly the same with Eve in the garden he builds up a conversation in our minds and we listen to him and then we go and do what he says and then when we do what he says the results are negative disastrous very unpleasant so Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. So the word of God in our mouths, spoken out by faith with boldness, as it says in Romans, confess with your mouth what you believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth what you believe in your heart and you shall be delivered, you shall be healed, you shall be prosperous. So Joshua 1 verse 8 and Psalm 1 are 
very much the same. It's about meditating on the Word of God. You have got to disconnect yourself from the newspapers and the news of this world because it's not from the Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter. Psalm, 9, Psalm 91 says, A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it's not coming near me. Now, you've either to choose to believe that or not believe it. And if you believe it, you start declaring it. That greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. That nothing's impossible for you because you are a believer. That the fire of God is burning inside of you and the powers of darkness cannot stand against the fire, the power, the glory and the light of God that's in you and on you. You've been given an anointing that destroys every single yoke. So arise and shine because your light has come and let the glory of the Lord be seen upon you. Today is an exciting day to live. We are living in exciting times. This is the time where the ecclesia can flourish in the power and the glory of Almighty God. So take these blogs, listen to them regularly. Joshua 1 verse 8, do not let my word depart from your mouth. And remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior.